It's only been 30 days since I posted the first video, but I'm seeing some things on this S500 that I want to share with you. I've left the car parked outside in a high moisture environment. It's been raining quite heavily here in the Northwest in the last couple weeks. Let me take you in close to the engine. I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen part one in my video series on magnesium corrosion, I recommend you watch that now because I'm not going to give you all the background in this video. But this is the valve cover that I coated with a metal protectant. This was a brush on coating and I thought it would do a pretty good job of sealing the corrosion. But look what is happening. The corrosion is already coming back. What's happened is I did not neutralize the corrosion underneath that sealant. So it's just kind of working its way back to the surface. And I think in two to three months, you'll see this section of the valve cover return to that pasty white powdery look. I also used the metal protectant coating on this breather cover. Now this cover I had off the engine and I actually cleaned it in a solvent tank and roughed it up a little bit with the Scotch-Brite pad before applying the protectant. But I'm already seeing a few spots right here and right here where it looks like that corrosion is growing underneath the coating. So this is going to take a few more weeks, possibly another month, before I determine whether or not this is going to go bad on me. Now, if you recall, I used the metal wax in this section. That was a waste. Within a week, it was showing that it wasn't going to work. So let's talk a little bit more about this intake manifold because it's looking pretty good. By the way, I'm not going to give up on this protective coating, but I'm going to have to find a way to, to neutralize the corrosion on the magnesium before I apply that top coat. So this is going to be cleaned off again, and I'm going to do some research on a couple different types of acid where I can neutralize this corrosion, clean it off thoroughly, and then recoat it with the metal protectant, and then we'll take a look at that after a couple months. If you recall in part one, I went after this forward section of the intake manifold with anti-corrosive gel and a Scotch-Brite pad. I kind of rubbed it in to the pits of the metal and it is not showing any signs at all. Now back here I removed that metal wax and went ahead and coated that as well with the anti-corrosive gel. But I can still feel a little stickiness. So this gel is holding up very well. Obviously it's going to probably attract dirt over time while I drive the car, but I can deal with a little dirt. I do not like that corrosion. So right now this anti-corrosive gel is looking pretty good. It's going to take a few more months before I know for sure. Some of you have asked about this, by the way. So what I'm going to do is make this offer, okay? And I'm going to package it in one ounce containers like this because you don't need very much even to do the valve covers in an intake manifold on an M113 or M112 engine. So I'm going to sell this cheap on my website for the first 12, and I'm going to repeat, this is the first 12 buyers will be able to buy this inexpensively and then it will be marked sold out. So if you see it marked sold out, that means that those 12 people have already picked this up because I'm going to ask a favor in return for me selling this to you and that's I want you to take some pictures, I want you to use it, and I want you to report back the results after a couple months. That's the deal, okay? Let's figure out together how we can solve the corrosion problem on these magnesium engine parts.